Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Dan Cosgrove. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Coming together as God's family, let's ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who adorned the sacred body of your church with the confessions of holy martyrs, grant, we pray, that just as the glorious passion of St. Ignatius of Antioch, which we celebrate today, brought him eternal splendor, so it may be for us an unending protection. And we pray that you bless Dan Cosgrove with eternal rest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For as many as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven. And from it, we also await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown. In this way, stand firm in the Lord, beloved. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The, the Lord, Lord delivered, delivered me, me from, from all, all my fears. fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord, the Lord delivered, delivered me from, from all, all my fears. fears. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord, the Lord delivered set me, me free from all my, my fears. Name. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from his distress, he saved him. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the Lord delivered, delivered me from, from all my fears. fears. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the man who perseveres in temptation, 
for when he has been proved, he will receive the crown of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. The church has always been persecuted and to this day it continues to be persecuted. In certain places and countries very openly and in other places in a very subtle way. But the truth is that the church continues to be persecuted. My dear sisters and brothers, today we celebrate St. Ignatius of Antioch, bishop and martyr. I should have been dressed in red because we celebrate martyrdom, but all I could think of was Saturday, and so I am in white. St. Ignatius of Antioch is someone that could capture your imagination and set fire to your heart as you look to Jesus. He is actually the successor of Peter in the city of Antioch. Probably he was betrayed by one of his own Catholics and there he was condemned by the emperor himself to be thrown as food for the lions. But as St. Ignatius of Antioch journeys from Antioch to Rome. He is busy writing letters to his church, to his people. You know, summarizing for them what he believed in and uh, proclaiming the good news. And those are good spiritual readings. I hope you find the time to sit through those seven letters of St. Ignatius of Antioch to the early church. And in one of them, he implores his people not to prevent him from dying a martyr's death. And he would beg them, let me be ground as a wheat and let me be crushed like grapes for the mass. My dear sisters and brothers, in our own way, we too suffer many things. But do we suffer them because we have no other option or because we choose to accept that pain, that suffering out of love for Jesus? You know, we are ordinary people living our ordinary lives in an ordinary way. But you and I can become saints and martyrs in our own way, provided we ordinary people choose to live our ordinary life in an extraordinary way. When some discomfort, some inconvenience, some pain or suffering comes your way, how do you face it? Do you welcome it? Do you embrace it? 
do you accept it out of love for Jesus or do you choose to complain it or avoid it completely? You and I may not have the fortune of dying a martyr's death, of shedding our blood, but we can live martyrdom in a different way, remaining open to whatever is sent our way and embracing them as the will of God. And so, as we go through this Eucharist, let's pray for this grace, that we will accept the crosses that come our way out of love for Jesus, that like St. Ignatius of Antioch, like our Blessed Mother, like Jesus himself, we will face the crosses that come our way with goodwill and with good cheer. Let's rise for the intercessions. For the Church of God, especially for missionaries all over the world that face the pain of persecution, that in the midst of opposition, they will continue to be generous to God, spreading the good news. We pray to the Lord. For our nation, we pray to the Lord. For the many in our community who are ill, homebound, or are living in assisted living facilities, we pray to the Lord. For the many in our families that suffer in their body, pain, discomfort, or inconvenience, we pray to the Lord. For the repose of the soul of Dan Cosgrove, for whom we offer this Mass, that God may grant him eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. Being the month of October, and today being Saturday, we pray for our parish community, that families will be devoted to the mother and walk the way that she walked, we pray to the Lord. What else shall we pray for? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation and our homage be pleasing to you, O Lord, just as you accepted St. Ignatius, the whole wheat of Christ, made pure bread through his martyrdom and passion, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. 
for the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Ignatius of Antioch, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Dan Cosgrove, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that Dan, who was united with your son, in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with St. John Vianney, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may come to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. I am the wheat of Christ to be ground by the teeth of beasts that I may be found pure bread. Let us pray. May the heavenly bread we have received, O Lord, on the feast day of St. Ignatius, renew us, we pray, and make us Christians in name and in deed. And we pray that you bless Dan Cosgro with eternal rest through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's pray a Hail Mary. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
the mass is ended go announce the gospel of the lord thanks be to god have a good weekend